afternoon. I am out in the sunshine. It's going to be the last sun of the, probably this Indian summer. I have, I have no regrets bag of makeup. I went through and tried to look and see what I didn't regret either buying or getting or keeping. But first, this show is brought to you by JBS Farm. And the first product I want to show you is Fresh Roses Facial Spritz. And I use it like a Max Fix Plus type thing. Um, you just, um, like after, I didn't powder. Well, anyway. Oh, it spills especially good today. Because <laughs> it's so hot out here. But I have, I do have a fragrance oil in here. So it's a little more, um, smells rosy. But it's got uh, rose hydrosol in here. And it's bamboo stem extract and all kinds of good things. Anyway. And a much better price than the brand name stuff. Back for this season is the Maple Brown Sugar uh, Leaf Soap. And I put a little jojoba or, um, seeds on it to make it look like the sugar that you get on the maple candy. Um, if you ever go near Canada, get maple candy. It is so good. They probably make it in Maine too or that kind of place that has maple. I have the pumpkin cheesecake lip balm and it's just in a stick it's all hermetically sealed and everything so nobody can get into it but um here if you want to smell that's what it smells like it's just real subtle it's not just boom in your face but mm, no calories so that's what we're brought to you by brushes i do not regret getting the eye set of, of the real techniques. I even use this big fluffy round one for doing a, a blush I'm going to show you in here by Terry that um, it just puts it right where you want it and if you want to blend eyeshadow, boy it's a good one. And their flat shader brush and I can dab it on, I can use it like a um, domed brush, I can pat stuff on and I could use it by itself if I had to. <sighs> The eye contour brush. It's number 14 from Chanel. Holy moly, I don't know how I lived without this brush. It is just this little tiny, but soft, but stiff. And you can do eyeliner, you can do lining of tight lines and water lines and, and anything where you want precise placement. This guy, oh, holy grail. I really am happy with my mineral powder brush number 45 from Sephora. It's soft, it's domed. I love buffing in foundation with it. You can do mineral foundation, liquid foundation, and oh, and I use it with my Chanel um, Tan de Soleil uh, cream bronzer. Uh, you could do it with any kind of blush powder or cream. Love it, and it's soft. I can't live without and no regrets of uh, my NARS Yachiro. And because it's this diamond shape, I can dip sideways and go on my cheek, or I can go just on the tip and I could do highlighter or I can do um, contour. Love this brush. It's kind of a strange wrap deal, but that's the way it comes. And I really like this MAC 227. Um, it's great for blending and just making it go really fast when you just put on your, or if you want to put on a whole color over your lid, goes really fast. Lip pencils, I got a variety here, but they're all the same kind of theme. This is Trish McAvoy, Barely There, and it's a nude brown. Nude pink is also good. This is Lee Swatier Water Rose. This is actually my favorite because it's a little more my lip color. It's the pink one. I'll show y'all better in just a minute. This is the least, no, this is Urban Decay Naked. I'm not going that side. Oh, it's a great color too. That's the next one over. Then I have NYX. See, I'm trying to have all price points. Mauve, that's that one. And then the NYX Natural. Actually, I think I like the mauve a little better. I like warm colors, so that's the natural on the end. So those are the lip color, the lip pencil color. This is Elizabeth Arden uh, blush. And oh man, I've had it for a couple years. It is still just really creamy. It's kind of pinky, which is nice. It warms up whatever you've got underneath. Yeah. Mm, love them. Isn't it fun to love makeup? I have the Sephora number 19 Peony. Is it Peony? Yep. 
and it looks kind of bright here, but when you put it on, it just goes to lip color just about. There it is, thick. And you can blend it out. I kind of dot it. But. Then I have the Guerlain Rouge Automatique number 120. And I can wear this with anything. And it doesn't go on crazy like you would be scared if you just looked at it here. But don't be scared. It's fun to wear color. Then... I should tell you what I have on right now. Right now I have on Revlon's Fire and Ice. I like it when I want to be just BAM! And it looks great when you wear black. Woo! I like the Revlon Really Red 006. And it's a matte. But the reason I bought it was because I read somewhere that everyone can wear this red. And I think the Rockettes wear it. But anyway, it's a beautiful red. It's a little hard to find and I don't know why. And then the other one I have no regrets is Love That Pink. And that's on the very end here. And it's close to the reds because it's just nice and dark. But you know these dark colors? I mean, yeah, I'm dark right now. But it, it gives you some pizzazz. So just because of the interest of me not making myself a mess. I'm going to go like that. Now let's see what else I have in my bag. I may run across a lipstick again, so forgive me. Uh, Let's do blushes. A blush that I n do not regret is Rose Bronze from Chanel. And this one is Melise that I'm showing you. <laughs> well, Rose Bronze and Melise are great. Um, I have Rose Bronze on, Melise or Malice. Gives you a little brighter. There it is. One that I have no regrets and I'm glad I got is Illamasqua's Cream Blusher in Rude. How rude! If you know Miranda. And it's kind of shiny. It's a cream. So oh, another one I do not regret. And somebody gave it to me or I never would have bought it. And I now love it. It's Outlaw from NARS. Let's put it next to Rude. It is in that same family. It's got a little pink, a little brown in it. Favorite. And it's a good thing because I paid a bunch is the By Cherry Blush Glacé in Frozen Petal. I'm not going to stick my finger in there because it was almost 60 bucks for, didn't even fill up this um, container, but um, I love it. I've never found another color like it. Another blush that I like is also a lip tint and it is the Dior Cheek and Lip Glow and it comes in a little bottle with a little wand and it stains your lips just oh I should show you just very grudge I mean yeah this color looks all bright um, but it's just not it's very translucent you can blend it out there I just put a little dab just to show you it dark and then you just blend it out and it's gorgeous can't even hardly tell it's there but it will give your lips just a little bit um the lady that sold it to me said she likes to use it on brides because then when they kiss off their lipstick, um, they still have something. I like a good mascara. There's several I like. I like the L'Oreal Voluminous. I like Benefit They're Real. I like this Better Than Sex. And I bent the um, brush to make it easier to get on. Um, I love the Chanel Voluminous, but it's really expensive. Love the Volume. It's real expensive. I like the dip brow. And mine color is mine color is medium brown. Eyebrows and, and I could make it darker, but you know, I'm just always afraid to go too dark. Uh, for eye primer, I can't you can't go wrong with this uh, NARS smudge proof eyeshadow base. <laughs> and I've taken out the middle scooper so that I can get more of the product out. Um, scooper, but it was the little reducer. Uh, I also will use sticks or paint pots for primers. Um, one that I've been using a lot is this Laura Mercier Gray Pearl right there. And it really barely shows up. Uh, the lady that sold it to me, oh it'll go great with your amethyst. I never wear them. So um, I use it as a um, eye base and they stay on. Once that dries, it's staying on. The Ardell Lash Grip for eyelashes. It doesn't get goopy. It sticks fine, it dries fast, can't go wrong with it, no regrets. 
Uh, no regrets on my Hourglass Gypsy. This is a wonderful basic colors. Just kind of a warm brown and a champagne. I really like my no regrets. Um, ambient dim light. Um, what do you call it? Powder? Ambient lighting powder. Powder. It's, I use it as a finishing powder when I'm all done and then I'll spritz that rose spritz and boom. I like the Naked 2 Urban Decay Basics. You can't go wrong with it. I mean, you know, oh, I shouldn't shine it at you. It uh, has just basic colors. They're matte. You could travel with just that, but I'd have trouble with that because I like all the colors. Oh, I found my rose bronze. Here's the rose bronze I was telling you about. Chanel's rose bronze that I have no regrets for buying. It looks really dead in the pan, but I have it on. And it is right there, so it gives you enough color. It's surprising. In fact, I had a little too much on earlier. Now, eyeshadow palettes. Um, I love all of mine, but I had to pick just a few that would be my no regrets. And one is the chocolate bar from Too Faced. And you know what that looks like. It has all the browns and champagnes and um, kind of a... Uh, burgundy color. I don't really use the purple one much, but all those colors are you use over and over and over, and you buy them in every palette, and they'll smell like chocolate. So because there's so many neutral palettes, I like my NARS Narcissist palette. And I got this through the store, and so it's a better quality than the ones they had online. But I like it because they've got, you know, the purple of, who's that? Bruce. Um, we've got Nepal, which I use all the time. I have it also in a single. Um, what else we've got that's real popular? Lhasa, um, Coconut Grove, Bali, Fez, All About Eve. Anyway, so some of these two I can use for eyebrows. So I could just take this with me and I have my eyebrow and my eyeshadow. It's a little heavy and if you open it all the way up and set it down, it tips over towards the mirror. But other than that, it's a fun palette. Really like and no regrets the um, Laura Mercier uh, artist palette. This was the first one, and my big love is the uh, African violet. But you can do everything with it, and I use a lot of chocolate with the African violet. And then they've got mattes on the bottom, so it's just a beautiful um, all-round palette. Another palette I have no regrets is the It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty. And it has a little magnet that you flip up. And they're all matte. And it's fun to pick colors. I think I could just travel with it. And you could just pick what colors you you want to try. Because I, I can't be reduced to five colors if I go away for a week. That's too hard. But I don't want to travel with too many things. And that IT palette's kind of thin and nice. Um, this one I won't travel with because it's too expensive. And I don't want anything. This is the um, all the Viseart number one a matte palette, and it's got these warm browns, and then it's got your pales to do your highlighting, and you can do your lid, and you can do your crease, and you can do you can do your liner, and, you know, outer V and that kind of thing. And so that's a no regret. That's my last one. See, this one you could travel with because it's pretty slender. The um, Laura Mercier you could travel with real well too. The Narcissist I think is too heavy, but it's thin. Chocolate bar I wouldn't travel with because this thing just pops open all the time too easily. Those are my no regrets. And you're brought, we're brought to you by JBS Farm. Uh, fresh Roses Facial Spritz, Maple Brown Sugar Soap, and the Pumpkin Cheesecake. And the Pumpkin Cheesecake Lip Balm. So thank you so much for joining me and enjoying the dahlias until first frost. I'm going to keep picking these guys. So until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.